Hello Capricorn, welcome to Truth Well Told Tarot. This is Andrea and I'm here to do your weekly tarot reading for the sign of Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus. And it will be from the 18th to the 24th of January 2021 for the sign of Capricorn. So let's get straight into your reading and pull your overarching energy or message for the week. So what do we have for Capricorn please? Angels, Spirits, Guides, what does Capricorn need to hear the most? Thank you. For the week. Thank you. I have the Nine of Swords here, Capricorn. Okay. So what do we have for Capricorn, please, angels? What is the message Capricorn needs to hear the most for the week? Thank you. Okay, so we have Reconsider. And it's with that Nine of Swords. Okay, so I'm going to pull four cards. The first card is you, your current situation. The second card is your challenge. The third card is advice from spirit. The fourth card is your outcome. Okay, and then we'll clarify the cards and go deeper into the message. And it won't resonate with everybody, so just take what resonates with you. I've got the devil, but it's come out reversed. Now the devil is your card, Capricorn. Okay, we have the lovers in your challenge position. The Ace of Pentacles is advice from spirit. And the Four of Pentacles is your outcome. Capricorn energy again there. Okay. Let's clarify these cards and go, in deep, go deeper into the message, please. What do we have for Capricorn, please? A message for our lovely Capricorns, thank you. Can we clarify the cards on the table for Capricorn? Eighteenth to the twenty fourth of January twenty twenty one. Message for Capricorn, please. Angel Spirits Guides, thank you. Let's just shuffle one more time. Thank you. We have the nine of cups. Page of Cups clarifies the lovers. The Nine of Wands clarifies the Ace of Pentacles. And the Four of Pentacles clarifies the lovers. Lovers appearing twice. Bottom of the deck, we have the Two of Wands. Let's clarify this Nine of Swords, Capricorn. Let's clarify this Nine of Swords for Capricorn, please. Okay. So I have the Ten of Wands. Bottom of the deck, it's interesting, I've got the Queen of Cups, I did look at it, so I'm just going to pop that down. There's a message of reconsider how you're looking at something here, Capricorn. It feels like something, a situation hasn't made you feel quite yourself. I mean, the devil reversed is, is definitely an energy of you not feeling yourself. And there's definitely this energy. You see the sword energy, the way I'm looking at this card is the sword is to do with the mind, the truth of a situation, perspective, how we view something, um, our thought patterns, our perspectives, you know, it's that kind of energy. 
And there's something about looking at something in a different way. It's interesting that you're upside down. I mean, it feels a little bit hanged man energy here. It feels in it feels in this situation. Look at something in a different way, or reconsider something now, because the Nine of Swords is when we're so much in our own head, and the Ten of Wands it definitely feels the burden, some burden, some pressure, um, and the need to release the burden, the need to deal with some kind of burden that you might have been carrying for some time. I mean. It, there, this can be to do with third party situations here, Capricorn. If it's not, it feels to do with decisions in terms of love, romance, relationships. Because this is a, a testing energy of the Ten of Wands, a feeling of burdens weighed down. And again, the Nine of Swords can be about when we give power to negative thoughts that's when they just spiral out of control and distort our reality in understanding how we see the way forward get you know and there's definitely this energy of need to get perspective maybe looking at something in a different way in order to release the burdens release the weight because a turn is a completion nevertheless uh, you have the opportunity to put some down some burdens now to bring an end to some kind of burden that you might have been carrying for some time. It could be to do with, for some of you, it could well be to do with some kind of choice on what makes, what's gonna make you happy now. Because the Nine of Cups is happiness, joy, content, heart's desire. You know, what is going to make you happy now? And for some of you, it feels that you have an opportunity to put down some burdens of the past and go for what makes you happy. I mean, the Nine of Cups is a wish fulfillment card, but it's, it's, it's also a card of It feels in this situation, looking at something differently in terms of focusing on what's going to make you happy. It's heart energy. It's what's going to bring you happiness, joy, contentment. You know, it's that kind of energy. It's also an aligning energy. How do I align to what is going to make me happy now? And again, this devil energy is a card of can be a card of detachment, can be a card of releasing the burdens, releasing these burdens, because uh, it can be a card of releasing limit, things that limit us now. I mean, the devil upright is a limiting energy uh, where we feel powerless. And there's definitely an energy of the need to take your power back on something and go for what makes you happy now. Now, this could be a third party situation. It could well be in whatever context that you faced. Now is the time to go for what makes you happy. For whatever reason, it feels in this energy. The nine of swords is a card of something is stressing you out, out causing you anxiety, causing you stress. And it feels like a burden that's picked, that's built up over a period of time. And there's definitely this energy of now is the time to, to go for what makes, definitely this energy of, of going for what makes you happy. Maybe detaching from those burdens that have weighed you down. Because the Page of Cups and the Lover's Energy, I mean, this is a beautiful energy. The Page of Cups is, is this is an offer of love. Uh, the pages are the beginnings of something new, the beginnings of change. But this offer of love, I mean, it might well be um, a little bit unexpected. It might take you by surprise here. But nevertheless, it feels like a powerful union. And it feels 
for some of you, you're thinking, I need to go for what makes me happy now. Some of you, it could be a third party situation, Capricorn. Some of you, it could well be. Um, whatever this stress and anxiety is in your world right now, it doesn't necessarily have to be third party. It feels you have an opportunity to for release from it and find real happiness. And that's what the cards are telling me. Because the Nine of Wands is an energy of Why do you hold on to the past when you have an opportunity for a new beginning ahead? You know, I mean, there's definitely this energy of the, the, the Ace of Pentacles can be moving, relocating and um, an opportunity to manifest the beginnings of something that is very solid and secure and stable with somebody as well. Very good in terms of relationships. Um, obviously, it can be money, financial career opportunities as well. But the Nine of Wands is, is, a, is a card of somebody who stands guard over the past, even when the battle is finished. And there's one one to go, and there's definitely this energy of why hold on to the past? Don't hold back. You know, why is the past holding you back? Why are these burdens holding you back? Now you have an opportunity to go for some kind of new opportunity here. Something that I feel is bringing you joy and happiness um contentment satisfaction uh but it, it definitely feels in this energy that there is some kind of holding back what are you holding back from what is making you hold back because spirit is saying that this opportunity is handed to you by god the divine the universe it's a gift it's a gift don't hold back from receiving this gift which is a new beginning new phase, new opportunity, the opportunity to manifest something new in your reality here. So it, it feels very beautiful. The Four of Pentacles with the lovers. The Four of Pentacles is you, Capricorn, again. It's the little devil on your shoulder, which is interesting that I'm seeing that. It definitely feels in this energy that, you know, maybe there's some doubts here. Maybe those doubts are creeping in, you know, as you get closer to making some kind of decision or choice in terms of love, romance, relationships here. Maybe in, in going for something new, in committing to something new, in starting something new with somebody. Um, and this can be a card of self-protection, self-preservation, caution, holding on you know, to where you are for fear of moving forward. You know, it's that kind of energy. The Four of Pentacles can be a little bit of a stuck energy, stuck in your own energy here. And there's definitely an energy to liberate yourself from that now and go for what makes you happy. The Lovers is true kindred spirit energy, connecting to somebody on a soul, soul deep level. Um, it feels very beautiful. I mean, and it feels like you're being offered love here, Capricor Capricorn. Um, you, you are so powerful throughout this reading. Um, there's definitely this energy of assessing what is of value to you now. What is of value in your life? What do you see value in terms of this opportunity that's coming your way here? Um, definitely this kind of energy of what value do you place on this now? I'm reassessing what you consider of value in your life because for some of you, there is definitely some kind of offer, opportunity or, or decision that you need to make in terms of love, romance, relationships, matters of the heart um, concerning, concerning you and it definitely feels like another person here because the Queen of Cups is, it can be an offer of love. I mean, she can represent love, um, can also be sometimes a motherly figure and um, a parent, male or female energy, but talking it out with somebody who is caring, compassionate, who knows you very well. I mean, maybe getting some kind of advice here as well, could be to, towards making some kind of decision. But it feels like there's definitely, for some of you, it's to do with matters of the heart. And the two of wands is about making some kind of decision. 
Two of Wands is choosing what you want and what you don't want. It's at that crossroads. You know, they only grab hold of one one, they leave the other. So there's definitely this energy here of going for what you want now, taking action towards what you want. Um, taking ch some choice about love, maybe love, maybe decision in terms of love uh, to do with your future as well. I mean, this can be about future planning. So it definitely feels in this energy Something is stressing you out worrying and you're being told and it's not, it's not making you feel yourself and there's definitely a need to detach from what is stressing you, worrying you now and open your mind, reconsider all possibilities, find clarity, look at something in a different way and this is about heart energy, don't look at the mind energy, what your mind is telling you, it's to do with the heart, you make the choice from the heart here. Um, because the heart rules the head, you know, it's, it's definitely that kind of energy of the head will catch up to the heart decisions, but decisions made with the head is very difficult for the heart to catch up. So it is that kind of energy here, Capricorn, let the heart rule. It has to be from the heart this week in terms of some decision or choice that you're making towards some kind of new commitment or new beginning with somebody. Um... And it's about going for what makes you happy. You know, uh, this is heart energy. What is your heart's desire? Because you have the opportunity to find your heart's desire here. Now is the time to allow yourself to make the choice, the decision on what you want and what you don't want now. Very big energy, I have to say. But it's always beautiful when the Nine of Cups turns up because it's a really happy, fulfilling, joyful energy. Okay. So, final message for Capricorn, please. Yeah. We have protection. The fairies of protection are shielding you with a magical fairy ring of love and light. Practice psychic protection before embarking upon any spiritual work. There's definitely an energy of your being protected towards this new beginning here. Um, I'm going to pull one more card. Any other message for our lovely Capricorns, please, for the week? Any other message for Capricorn for the week? Yeah, I love that energy. We have light. I mean, it's an energy of becoming clear, stepping into your light. Um, seeing the light, you know, at the end of the tunnel. I mean, we have the Fairy Queen of Light comes to shed love and light on your current situation and to remind you that light can penetrate the darkness. And I definitely feel this is for you, Capricorn. You're moving from what feels like quite a dark energy, a testing energy, a challenging energy, towards something very beautiful. So it definitely feels for some of you, there is a definite need to take action, make some kind of choice, but it feels like some kind of union in love, romance, relationships, will bring you great happiness here. So I hope you enjoyed the reading. If you did, please do like, share and subscribe. I hope it's a wonderful, a wonderful week for you all and I will see you next time. Thank you.